Hello everyone, this is Marina. Hi, this is Yuri, my friend, and she'll tell you all about what she does in a second. And today we are starting a seven day smoothie bowl challenge. Yay! <laughs> High school friend and I love her and I can't I wait for her to be part of it so every day for seven days we're gonna make for you a different color smoothie bowl and the whole goal is kind of to do post-workout smoothie bowls and you find out why from Yuri in a second mm -hmm. so in order to be part of the challenge you need to click the link below and the link sends you up so that you get notified every day when we're going live it's all gonna be live besides today going to be live on my Facebook page and uh, also you've got to follow us on Instagram so I'm gonna put up here on the screen somewhere <laughs> our Instagrams and also in the description box so yeah just make sure to click that link sign up for the challenge and also um, follow us on Instagram and there's gonna be an ebook with all of the different recipes and I will link that for you below as well and now I want Yuri to tell us all about what she does. She has an amazing club with a really beautiful charitable goal and she's going to share it with us. Okay. So before I talk about, um, about the club, I wanted to share a little about why I started this club with my brother last October. Mm -hmm. So actually my father passed away from cancer two years ago and it has been a real struggle. But uh, that aside and positively You were really thinking, close, right? Yeah, we were really close. Um, but yeah, that aside, <laughs> we um, talk about memories a lot and we do have a lot of memories and we've just realized how valuable and important memories are because you can always reflect about it and it makes you feel like you're with that person all the time. Yeah. And so from that experience and we wanted to put our grief into use and so that's why we decided to start this club and fortunately we were able to um, collaborate with the hospital that my father went to mm -hmm. and we decided in Japan, in Japan yeah. yes <laughs> we are doing hospice care project this year from last October to this October um, but um, we do three things mainly for our club which um, is called we never mentioned oh yeah sorry <laughs> <laughs> it's called Kenroko VRC virtual uh -huh. running club uh -huh. and it is a little bit hard for you know in English Kenroko but it is very meaningful actually because it is my dad's name and my mom's name. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, oh, together. So, so it's a little bit like a memorial yeah. um, name for us. But yeah, so I wanted to share three things we do as a club. Mm -hmm. um, first, we accept donations. Mm -hmm. um, second, we actually organize virtual races every month. So what the heck is a virtual race? Yeah. <laughs> when she told me about this, I was like, what? What is that exactly? <laughs> Yeah, it's actually really fun. Um, we actually have a theme every month so that people can kind of like race with a different, uh, you know, mentality or emotions to it. But um, you basically can run it from anywhere in the world, anytime, at your own pace, by yourself, with the dog, with friends, with family. So it's very flexible and everyone can enjoy the race differently. And thirdly, we uh, organize events. Um, my brother lives in Honolulu, so we've organized events in these two cities so far, but we hope to do one in Japan very soon. Mm -hmm. yeah. So she'll put a link to her website, right? Yeah. So you can see all about what they do. And why did you choose hospice care as opposed to other things to donate to regarding mm -hmm. cancer? Okay, so we really focus on memories. I don't know, we think that family time is so important. Um, and so what we're actually doing for the hospice care project is that we're renovating the hospital's fifth floor garden. My hope is hopefully we can make them feel like they've escaped from the hospital. Yeah, because it's, little bit it's not very nice to be in the hospital. Exactly. Yeah. And I think, I think you told me that it's not something that people usually give money to, like hospice care. Yeah. Usually goes to research, right? Cancer research, and which yeah. we're gonna do through healthy diet today. Exactly. So I'm really, really happy <laughs> to support Yuri and um, check out all her information below. Yeah. Yeah. Thank and you. Uh, <laughs> and now we are gonna make a sunshine smoothie bowl. So why did we pick, well I picked Sunshine because I know that it has to do somehow with Yuri and why Sunshine? 
Well, did you know that my nickname growing up was Sunshine? No. <laughs> I really actually didn't, and I've known her since high school. Yeah, it's funny. I think um, people compliment me about my smile, maybe, so maybe that's where they got the idea of calling me Sunshine. So today's color is yeah. yellow, mm -hmm. and the smoothie bowl is going to have pineapple, and flax seeds. If you know me, I put flax seeds in every smoothie bowl, <laughs> and we'll talk about why in a second. Um, ginger, banana, mint. Oh, it's so refreshing. It's awesome. Um, Turmeric and black pepper, and even carrot. And we're gonna top it with a bunch of yummy toppings. So, are you ready? I'm excited. <laughs> it's so easy to make smoothie bowls. Honestly, they're the best. Yeah. So we're just going to be dumping everything into the blender. Into the blender, we have the only frozen thing is going to be frozen pineapple. Mm -hmm. You always want to have something frozen, right? It yes. just makes it like more creamy. Yeah. Um, and then I'm going to have some ginger. So I don't really measure the ginger. I just kind of like snap it off. Mm -hmm. And if you're using a high speed blender, you actually don't need to peel it. And it's good for you. I actually didn't know that. Yeah. And this is organic. So, you know. Um, mint, so mm -hmm. refreshing and yummy. Mm -hmm. And the carrot, so this is a yellow carrot because this is a yellow so smoothie pretty. bowl. Yeah, yeah. You see, it's beautiful. And if you can't find a yellow carrot, just use a normal carrot. It's okay. Yeah. I got We this. won't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then we have orange juice. It's freshly squeezed yes. margarina. <laughs> and I even put some pulp in there because you always want to have all your fiber. Mm -hmm. Course. And then our flax seeds, mm -hmm. just a tablespoon. That's what you want to have every day is a tablespoon of flax seeds mm -hmm. for your fiber, for your lignans, all this good stuff. And then turmeric and black pepper. So you might think I'm slightly insane for putting turmeric and black pepper into a smoothie bowl, but you really don't taste it and this is so good. And I'm going to mm -hmm. talk about why, especially post-workout, we want to have yeah. turmeric and black pepper. And, of course, our bananas. And I kept them in the peel, just mm -hmm. so I could show you that you absolutely want them to look like this. Did you know that? Yes. Okay. <laughs> you told me to good. put bananas oh, on top of your fridges. <laughs> there you go. You can put it on top of your yeah. fridge so it becomes ripe. And this is actually what a ripe banana looks like. So people think that this is like a bad banana. Like a lot of people do, but it's mm -hmm. actually an awesome banana. You actually taught me, so I wouldn't have known. That's it awesome. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> Okay, so that's it. Those are the ingredients, and all the specific measurements are going to be in the ebook that I mentioned. And we're now we're going to blend. I'm going to actually use coconut bowls for those of you who have never seen coconut bowls. They're super cute. They're actually a coconut, so you're not wasting anything or using plastic, so that's really nice. So, just for the record, I would eat this whole thing. Yeah, by myself. I know. You would too? I know you would. <laughs> you know what? When you come over and I make you smoothie bowls, yeah. you finish them. I do, but it was rough Hard. the first time. <laughs> I mean, this, really is, finish, but... this is a great meal, right? Yeah, it's so, so good perfect. though. It's so good. It's just really filling. It is filling, and yeah. but it's so refreshing too. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to use this. Okay. Oh, it's like the best consistency. Yeah. Because the flax seeds. So I think uh, now is a good time to tell you <laughs> yeah, uh, why I'm using these ingredients for this one specifically. So it's really important after you work out or actually any time to fight inflammation in your body. It's actually something that leads to a lot of different diseases from cancer to diabetes to so many different things. And uh, I do it every single day. I fight inflammation every single day by including the flax seeds and the turmeric and the black pepper, and you want to have fat with your turmeric to absorb it better, so mm. the flax seeds are perfect, they work together. And then the pineapple, it has this enzyme called bromelain, which is really, really good for you post-workout as well. It helps uh, with injuries, it helps with repairing bones and cartilage, so it's a perfect post-workout food, mm -hmm. and these are delicious. So yeah. we're really excited to have some. Mm -hmm. You want to try? Yeah, do you want to decorate first or just get yeah, let, let's try it and decorate it after and take a photo of it. <laughs> mm. it's, it's so, so refreshing. Good. The mint is my favorite. 
I can and taste the pineapple them too. and the mint together. It's amazing. Yeah, you really can't taste the pepper or the turmeric. Right? Because it's such a small amount, you don't need a lot. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, oh, we're excited you to eat this. To try. <laughs> we can't wait to eat these right now. Yeah. So, thank you so much for watching this video, and thank you, Yuri, for thank you. the idea and, and the whole challenge, the smoothie yeah. bowl challenge. It's a week long challenge, guys. Yeah. So, oh yeah, we never said why we chose smoothie bowls. So smoothie mm -hmm. bowls, as you can see, they're filling and you can mm -hmm. eat them with a spoon. Mm -hmm. So it's so much better for you and it's a whole mm -hmm. meal, not like a smoothie where you chug it down, which is not good for your digestion. Mm -hmm. This is something that you actually sit and eat and enjoy. And so again, just to remind you, if you want to join the challenge, it's totally free. There's gonna be a link below to sign up for it. And then just follow us both on Instagram and you will get notified every day when we go live with another recipe for a whole week. Yeah. So you have breakfast and lunch covered for your life. Honestly. Yeah. <laughs> tag us in your photos so we can retag you or share it on yeah. our Instagram. Yeah. Yeah. And thank you so much. Again, we will see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Turn a magic on to me he'd say everything you want to dream away. But we are legends every day. That's what he told me.